Firstly, you've got to be passionate about being around horses. You have to be good with talking in public. You have to be good dealing with uh, other people. Then on top of it, you obviously have to be good at training a racehorse. So uh, there's a lot of things that come into play. Obviously, it depends on what level you're going to be training at. And uh, as you go up the training ranks, so everything has to improve. So it, it's a lot of commitment. It's a, you're a professional, you have to act accordingly. If you're good at what you do, it's all worthwhile at the end of it. There are exams that you have to do. You have to do a stable employee exam, you have to do a system of trainers exam, and then you have to do a trainers exam. But on top of that, the rest is very much up to how much you want to put in in between that, uh, which entails either traveling abroad to working with the, the best yards in, in the world, uh, then coming back to South Africa and giving it a go. The more groundwork that you put into it, the better the result. To get to where we are at the moment, it's taken two generations to get to where we are now. If you're somebody that doesn't like to wake up in the morning, do not become a horse trainer. Six o'clock in the morning, we're at the track exercising horses. As the sun's coming up, we're out there. It is an art in that we horsemen and we try to make the horse as happy as possible, hoping for good results. When you start putting science into it, you bring a whole lot of other things into play, which takes away that natural ability to, to train a horse. We move horses to different provinces and things like that. If we think they'd be better suited to a different climate, different tracks. Here in the Western Cape, our training centers are on the Cape Flats, which are natural based sand. Whereas up in Natal and Sommerfeld, it's all hard and Joburg. It's a different type of working environment. So uh, you try and move horses around to suit um, where they're most comfortable. Here in South Africa, there are some very good young trainers that uh, have got a good reputation. They're decent people and they will look after you as best they can. I think that's the most important thing. Find out who's got the good reputations and the guys that are renowned for um, looking after animals correctly. I'm not taking in that there are trainers that don't but they are trainers that do a better job. I'd like to see the, the trainers that have the horse's best interests be the best trainers. I spend a lot of the time uh, in planes, traveling to the different provinces to ensure that the horses are, are in peak performance for the right races. I've had some of the wealthiest people in the world who have some of the biggest companies in the world scream <laughs> like they've never screamed in their lives when that horse hits the front 100 meters out. It's not about the money, it's about the enjoyment and the thrill of fast animals and uh, competitiveness. You just can't beat it.